right. and with music you could be having the worst day ever. You turn on your favorite song exactly. and it's like you back behind you. While it's raining outside. <laughs> there you go. To music and yeah. you feel great. Thinking of a lot of songs with the word rain in it. Yeah. And, you know, exactly. so many of us uh, thankful to get that today, helping out with that short uh, term fire danger we've been dealing with, and it does contribute to the drought, even though it's not a drought buster. So as we look right now at the satellite radar picture, this is beautiful. We had that atmospheric river moving on in this morning. We know there was problems, but uh, from the perspective of the drought we're in, again, real excellent here to see this wet weather across Northern California. It's beginning to move off towards the south. I think we only have a few lingering showers left over Morgan Hill and Gilroy as we head through the next two hours. Then we're on to the drying, and you know if you stepped outside even for a minute today, it is cold out there, and it's going to be getting even colder. We have freeze warnings that are in place here over the North Bay and the South Bay. So we're talking about temperatures here ranging from 25 to 32 degrees. We'll need to watch out for some patchy dense ground fog that may form because as those temperatures drop, it will produce some condensation with some of the uh, the ground that is still going to be wet. And then uh, bring the pets inside, check the outdoor water pipes, make sure those are wrapped and covered up and also any sensitive plants. So let's take it into the North Bay and you can see some of the cities under this freeze warning. Cloverdale, Calistoga, Anglin, St. Helena, down to Napa, Sonoma, and even towards San Rafael. For the South Bay, it's primarily for the eastern half of the South Bay uh, through the eastern foothills here of San Jose, also including Morgan Hill and right there to Gilroy. Let's show you a better view of those temperatures and look at this. 29 Santa Rosa, 29 Napa, and uh, for some of the interior valleys to the north of Santa Rosa and Napa, we could be into those mid-20s, widespread 30s here through the East Bay and right down to the South Bay, even half moon Bay potentially down to 36 degrees. So again, bundle up at some serious cold for us through tomorrow. We get some sun back. It's going to be a break for us. Daytime highs will be in the low 50s and you'll want to enjoy tomorrow because right now it looks like the weekend is going to bring us more rainfall. So if you haven't put up your Christmas tree yet or any kind of decorations, it might be that uh, kind of a weekend to just kind of plan uh, what you want to do inside so you can just kind of enjoy that stuff. You can see right here Friday night storm to the north. We're going to see a little uh, branch here of a very, very weak atmospheric river as well. It's not going to join up as well as what we had today, but those two things combining together to give us that rain on Saturday and then we'll continue into some of this rain on Sunday's forecast totals right now about a half to one inch over that two day period. Additional Sierra snow could bring more whiteout conditions that makes it hard to get up there. 30 inches at Kingville this weekend, 29 Twin Bridges, 21 in South Lake Tahoe. So your window for Tahoe really is tomorrow to safely be able to get up towards the Sierra. Right here, temperatures in the 50s over the next seven days for San Francisco, and we're keeping it on the cold side here through the inland valleys as well. So wet this weekend. More updates in about 10 minutes. Great, Jeff. Thank you very yep. much.